freaking legend, okay? It would kind of suck for me because I don't want to do that. I wildly tweeted at the publishing house to please give me this book. <laughs> the shame is evident. You know I'm a simp for that, so I'm excited. <laughs> This is Let Me in the Library, except we're in my car, and actually I'm going to do my TBR in my car, but um, I'm currently trying to run some errands, so this is going to be a little more chaotic than usual, but we are going to do my TBR game as usual. I'm rolling some dice, we're going to see what I have to read according to those rolls, and I have decided to also incorporate more friend recommendations into my TBR games. Let's go see what I rolled, and then we'll come back after I run an errand, and we'll talk about it. I was simply too tired to go get my actual dice, so I just used the Roll20 app online. Hope that's okay, bye! I'm back from an errand, so let's talk about what I rolled and what I have to read. So, the first thing that I rolled was a 1, which means that I need to read an intimidating book. I brought my books with me in my car so that I could show you what I have to read, but the first book I'm going to be reading is Dragon Republic. Not the first book that I'm reading this month, but... This is what I've rolled for. The Dragon Republic is extremely intimidating to me. This seems to be a lot of people's favorite book of the Poppy War series. Everybody um, seems to like adore this book and I am quite intimidated by the size, by the sheer amount of love for it. So I am going to be buddy reading this with Yasmin from Yasmin B. Readin. So we will be reading this. I'm excited for it. The next thing that I rolled was a three, which is a TBR veteran. I actually rolled a three twice. So to nobody's surprise, of course I didn't finish this book or really work on it at all uh, in the past couple of months, so I will be working on The Priory of the Orange Tree, of course. Um, this was part of a buddy read that I was doing. Oh my god, there's people looking at me. It's fine. I was doing this for a buddy read thing with people. Didn't really pan out. Some people didn't read it, including me. So I am going to read it, but I was talking with Christine from the Roomies Digest, and she was like, you should raise the stakes. So. I have sort of a game within a game here, um, within my TBR game, in saying that I will finish this book by the end of this month, and if I don't, I will allow a random bookish friend to choose a book off of my shelves, and I will give them that book, whether I've read it or not. So that would kind of suck for me because I don't want to do that necessarily. I love my friends, I'd love to buy them a book or something which is what I thought this was going to be, but Christine was like, raise the stakes. So if I don't finish this book, I will give a friend a book off of my shelves and somehow otherwise procure it myself to have to read it in the future. But that is my challenge. Um, and the other thing, of course, that is a TBR veteran that I just keep not reading, but I definitely will, as I say every month, is Ruin and Rising, which I am buddy reading with Mo. This is the third book in the Grishaverse series. The thing is, I turned my mom onto the Grishaverse series and the audiobooks and stuff, and she is already on Crooked Kingdom. Like, she read all of the Grishaverse, the first three books, and then she started Six of Crows, and she liked it, and then she's on Crooked Kingdom now, and she's like, haven't you read this yet? And I'm like, no. So the shame is evident. The next thing that I rolled was a five, and that is the spin the bottle Thing. So usually what I do here is a now I show you B roll of me spinning a bottle and it landing on a book, but actually I have a friend who does a spin the bottle game as her entire TBR game and it's really fun and there's all these little mini games. So I thought it would be fun to let the professional take the wheel and Sid from Sid Bookworm is going to give the prompt to me. And she sent me a video and we're going to watch it together. Uh, I will cut to a clip of me doing that because I am, again, still in my car being watched by people, so another time. But that's what I'm going to do for my number five roll. Let's watch it. Hello, party people. It is time to react to Sid's video. We're going to see what Sid has in store for me and watch it together for the first time. Hey, Rachel. Thanks so much for asking me to be a part of your video. As previously discussed, I have put prompts on every single one of the spaces on the TBR board. Uh, ignore the scrubs, I'm literally about to leave for work. But really quick, let's see what my spin the bottle TBR board has in store for you.
Okay, so the prompt you got was a new to you author. It's pretty self-explanatory. I know you probably don't need me to explain it. So uh, yeah, read a book with an author that you haven't read before. Hope you find a great book. Okay, so I will be reading a book by an author who is new to me. Actually, this would be perfect for Velvet Was the Night because I have never read Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia, but I am trying to read Velvet Was the Night because my hold came in for that, and I'm hopefully buddy reading that with Jayla. So let's get to it because it expires in like two days. So, Jayla, if you're seeing this, we're already buddy reading this. Thanks so much for the help, Sid, and everybody please go check out Sid from Sid Bookworm for some more professional spinning every month, and uh, let's get back to the main TBR. We are back from watching that. The next thing that I rolled was, I think, a seven? Nonfiction. So for nonfiction, I'm going to be reading Ace. This is actually the nonfiction baddies book club pick, and uh, it's all about asexuality and what it really means and a lot of the misconceptions about it. The last thing that I rolled was a 16, which means that I put out a poll. So usually I say I just do a Twitter poll, but this time I really went all the way and I did a Twitter poll, I did a YouTube community tab poll, and I did an Instagram poll. So I pulled all of the votes from all of those and in the end we were very very close to getting the chosen and the beautiful, but actually it was really no competition when you accumulate all of the votes across everything, Daisy Jones in the Six was the clear winner of that poll. So I will be reading that. I'm pretty excited about it because I actually just finished Malibu Rising and I do want to read more of Taylor Jenkins Reid's backlog. So really excited to read this one. Uh, this one's like an interview format, trying to get to know this elusive, awesome band. Full cast, some people say it's like the best audiobook, period. So I love full cast audiobooks. I love audiobooks in general. And I think I maybe love Taylor Jenkins Reid, so we're gonna read that. I'm really excited for it, and that is the end of my little TBR game. But of course, you know who I am. You know what kind of person I am. I never stop. So I will go to the next stop on my little route of doing errands, and from there we will talk about everything else that I'm reading for this month, including book club stuff, buddy read stuff, etc. and so forth. So see you there. Okay, it got so dark, but we are going to talk about book clubs and stuff like that. So I am a part of several different book clubs. First off, there is the Winers Book Club. We are going to be reading Like a Love Story, which talks about a gay man who is coming to terms with his sexuality, when the only thing that he actually knows about being gay is the AIDS epidemic. And he starts dating a girl while trying to suppress his feelings for, I think it's her friend. Um, and that is the guy that he's actually falling for. So he's starting to discover those complicated feelings when there's really nobody out there to turn to as a source because I don't know when this takes place, but it takes place a while ago. We are going to be discussing Like a Love Story on Sasha's channel, Sasha from Redhead Reader. I'm also part of the Fantasy Series book club, and we're going to be reading the second book in the duology for the Sands of Arawea series. So we already read uh, we Hunt the Flame last month, and we are going to be reading We Free the Stars. This is the final book in the series, and from there we are going to allow everyone to vote on the next series that we pick up, so go check that out in the Discord. I'll be linking it in the description. So if you're interested in some fantasy stuff, you can join us for that. I'm also part of the Host Club, where we read a bunch of manga, so we're reading three volumes of Comey Can't Communicate and one volume of Chibi Vampire. I don't really know what these are about, but they are manga. They're very short. If you want to add to your Goodreads goal, go for it. We will be discussing those on Kitty's channels. There's a new book club that's starting just now, and it's called the Lat Am Lit Book Club um, to focus on reading Latin American books by Latin American authors. So first book is The Open Veins of Latin America, so I am going to be starting this. I know that people are reading this now and they are filled with rage. I'm also in the Sleepy Academics Book Club, and we're going to be reading a Hundred Years of Solitude. A Hundred Years of Solitude tells the story of the rise and fall, birth and death of the mythical town of Macondo through the history of the Buendia family. Inventive, amusing, magnetic, sad, and alive with unforgettable men and women, brimming with truth, compassion, and a lyrical magic that strikes the soul. This novel is a masterpiece in the art of fiction. Definitely excited to read this, and also this was actually gifted to me by the host of the book club, which is Nicole from Cover Nicole. So thank you, Nicole. I love you. There is another read-along that has just started, and it is for the Grace of Kings series, which is called the Dandelion Dynasty. And that is a brand new 
read along with the starting by Tammy from Tammy Tries to Read and Lena from Sufficiently Advanced Lena. So the first book is A Grace of Kings. Again, I was actually gifted this by uh, the host of that read along. Uh, so thank you again, Lena, for this. And I'm really excited to read this because it's by Ken Liu and I loved Ken Liu's short story collection. Uh, so I'm really, really excited to check this one out and hopefully I really love it. It is definitely a very big one, but I am hoping against hope that I will get to read all these really big books this month. I have just a couple of other things to mention, so I do have some buddy reads that I'm going to be doing with folks. The first one is An Anonymous Girl, which I am buddy reading with Sasha from The Redhead Reader. I am already almost done with this one, to be honest, but this is supposed to be about a girl named Jess who signs up for this very mysterious study with a therapist where she gets paid a lot of money to do stuff, and soon the whole like experiment sort of diverges into a way that she wasn't expecting and she starts to wonder if she can really trust this therapist and what's really going on. I am like 80% through it and I already am like I don't even know where this is going because I always make all these predictions with these mystery thrillers but I don't know where this is going. And I also have the first book in the All the Wrong Questions series which is Who Could That Be at This Hour? I love this book so much. This is the first book in the second Lemony Snicket A Series of Unfortunate Events type series. Uh, which follows Lemony Snicket as a child. So I love these books. They're really short actually and they have very cute pictures and stuff in them but I am buddy reading this with Aline and I'm so excited for her to read it for the first time and to re-explore it. I will also be buddy reading Last Night at the Telegraph Club with Nicole Lee from Bon Bon Reads. Nicole Lee gave me this book and I'm really excited to read it together. 17 year old Lily Hugh can't remember when the question took root but the answer was in full bloom the moment she and Kathleen Miller walked under the flashing neon sign of a lesbian bar called the Telegraph Club. American 1954 is not a safe place for two girls to fall in love, especially not in Chinatown. Red Scare paranoia threatens everyone, including Chinese Americans, like Lily. With deportation looming over her father, despite his hard-won citizenship, Lily and Kath risk everything to let their love see the light of day. I've definitely seen other people really like this, and I'm excited to finally get to read it with Nicole Lee. Last couple things. So I do have the graphic novel for The Adventure Zone, which is Pedals to the Metal. I love The Adventure Zone, the podcast, so much, so I'm really excited to read it again and just experience it once again in graphic novel format. Um, Pedals to the Metal is the third graphic novel in the series. The fourth one is out now, which I don't have yet, but uh, I am really thrilled to read this one and I don't know, just get to like see it come to life on this page uh, after imagining it for so long in my mind through the podcast. I also have Nine of Swords, which is a big boy, and this was sent to me by the author Brooklyn Guintana, so I am definitely going to be prioritizing this and reading this so that I can properly review it and everything on Goodreads. This is kind of like a school setting and there are these trials that the kids have to go through until the end of the year and if they survive then I think they graduate. So that sounds really fun. I love competition. I love school settings. I love when there's just like death games and challenges and stuff. So this sounds really exciting to me and I really hope I love it. I also really want to read the sequel to War Cross, which I read last month according to Lisa's recommendation. So Wild Card is the sequel to that. Some people love it, some people think it's not very good, and I just want to read it and see what happens. I have two arcs as well that I need to read. One of them is for a book that just came out, so sorry, but guys, guys, it's Poison for Breakfast by Lemony Snicket. I wildly tweeted at the publishing house to please give me this book <laughs> and I applied for it on Edelweiss which I didn't even have an account for. I made it specifically so I could get this book and I got it. So this is supposed to be about Lemony Snicket's murder and it's kind of leading you to follow the maybe the clues uh, and what was left behind when he died. Very mysterious, very interesting. You know I'm a simp for that, so I'm excited. The last book that I want to talk to you about is Iron Widow. Um, this is a book that is releasing this month, so I definitely want to get it read very quickly. But this is kind of like a Gundam situation where men and women have to kind of like ride in a mecha together and they can only be operated by the women, I believe. But when they are operated by the women, I think they die. Um, so it's almost like their life is the cost of operating them. And so it's almost like a Handmaid's Tale situation as described by the author where they're sort of only employed to do this because of their ability to do this, but like they're not valued otherwise in society. And then the main character um, 
tries to break out of that but she's actually inspired by a real life figure the person in history that this is based off of was a part of i think two harems and she worked her way up to be like the very top of those and she um gave birth to the next emperor and then she didn't stop there i think that she actually like either killed or betrayed the current emperor and her own son so that she could become like the ruler of china so freaking legend okay that that is such a cool person to base your main character off of so that's gonna be awesome did it we're home we're done with the tbr and with the errands incredible uh let me know if tbr in my car is something that you want to see more often because this was very easy for me to film for once so I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that this was fun. You found something cool to read and don't forget to let me know what you are reading as well. Also check out the description because I do have some links to stuff that I mentioned during this video as well as links to important resources for what's going on in the world today because oh my god the world's on fire and god. Please pay attention to what's going on in the world. Please do your part and um I, I don't know. I hope that this video can spread a little joy in times of just trying to hold it together, man. I love you so much. Thank you so much for everything that you do, for commenting everything that you do, and uh, just for being there. I am finished with the video now. <laughs> I'm Rachel. This is Love Me in the Library. I'll see you next time. Bye.